friends, let me ask you a question here. Are you living an entitled life? Now, that has kind of a negative connotation, doesn't it? I mean, we think of entitlement as someone who is trying to get something for nothing. Uh, we think of the millennials. That's a label that they've been given, that they are the entitled generation, and it's because they think that they should get everything for free. So it's not a very positive kind of connotation when we think of those words in the world's system. But do you know what? Do you know that Jesus says that you are entitled? He teaches that we are entitled? Think of what he says to us. Ask anything in my name and believe you receive it and you will have it. That sounds pretty entitled to me. But that is the truth. And as a believer, as a follower of Jesus Christ, you are entitled. You are entitled to all kinds of rights, privileges, blessings. But the thing is, is that so many people don't know what they already have. So let me just give you one little thing that, boy, you get into this and it will change your life forever and bring glory to God. Isn't that what we really want? As soon as you accept Jesus as your Savior, you become a citizen of a new kingdom, the kingdom of God. Jesus said the reason he came to the earth was to preach the kingdom of God. He says, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. And when we look at the translation of what he meant by the word repent, Yes, there is that part of repentance where we ask forgiveness for the things that we have done wrong. That's part of repentance. But when Jesus said, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand, he was saying, change the way you've been thinking. There is a whole new life available to you. It is the kingdom of God. It is the restoration of the blessings, the rights, the privileges that God established in his kingdom by law. And in the same way, in the land where you live, where you are a citizen in this world, like I'm from the United States, wherever country you're from or where you live, you have rights and privileges because you are a citizen of that country. The same goes with you being a citizen of the kingdom of God. You have rights, privileges, benefits that are already yours because you're the citizen. And do you know who oversees all of that? God. He is the, the authority that makes sure that your rights and privileges and benefits are received. But you know, you have to know how to work it. You have to know how the laws work. God gave us rights, privileges, benefits as citizens of his kingdom. And Jesus came to proclaim that kingdom, to make it possible for us to enter that kingdom. He is the king over that kingdom, over that government. And his responsibility, his desire, is that all of his citizens have great and wonderful lives. And that's why he can say, ask anything in my name, ask anything according to the law and believe you receive it. That's where we have our faith, believing before we see it, and then you will get it. And if you can get in touch with these laws, if you can learn about them, you will never wake up again feeling broke, busted, and disgusted, or wake up feeling so down, or like, or look at other people, and why do they have all these great, this great way of life, and meanwhile, I'm stuck with all this other junk. It's because you're not living according to your blessing. It's because you're not living according to the privileges, the rights, the benefits that you have as a citizen in God's kingdom. It is powerful. You learn this stuff and it will revolutionize your faith. It will revolutionize your life. And you know what else? It will bring glory to God. Think about you having this amazing life where your friends, your family, they say, wow, what have you done? What's going on? Why is your life so different now? That is the glory, the light of Christ shining through you. That is your life in Christ and you can have it. And think of that. Think of the witness that you have. People will be breaking down your door trying to figure out what is, what's going on with you. 
Why have you been able to do it? And you give God the glory because it's because you are a citizen in his kingdom. You have his rights that he has given you and it's all yours. It's all yours right now. They are yours right now if you know how to get them. So it's it's really worth it to learn about the kingdom of God. Learn how this all works and start receiving all of the great benefits and privileges and rights that you already have, that Jesus came to this earth to make it possible for you to have. It's a big subject, but oh my goodness, is it worth every minute that you spend learning about it. I hope this is helpful to you. Have a great and wonderful day. Blessings to you. And my hope for you is that you will live as a citizen of God's kingdom. You will truly seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be given to you. That's the truth. Okay, bye for now.